Elizabeth Bay here reporting from Warsaw again. This is Thursday, November 21st. Uh, we're nearing the very end of negotiations, which are still showing very little signs of progress. Yeah, the updates of the things that happened, and by the way, behind me, the room I'm in is where we've been negotiating uh, what's been called the ADP negotiations. I've written in detail about them on my written blog, so you can find out what they're about. Uh, the negotiations broke up as the co-chairs went away to try to redraft yet another draft text, bring it back for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., so a rare evening. The negotiators here behind me, we were planning to be here. We thought we'd be here till 3, 4 in the morning. And then uh, the chairs surprised us with the news that they were going to go away, come back with a new draft text, and we meet tomorrow again at 9. Uh, the biggest news around here from yesterday that I forgot to mention was that the Prime Minister of Poland fired his Environment Minister. And the Environment Minister is, of course, the President of the Conference of the Parties in charge of chairing all the sessions. So we now have the awkwardness of this man who is continuing, not as Environment Minister, but as President of the COP, having been fired so that the Prime Minister of Poland could put in place an environment minister whose new job is to promote fracking. So I believe that it may be true that the term Polish Minister of Environment is an oxymoron. Also what happened today was that there was a sense of enormous frustration that led to an unprecedented historic walkout. Uh, a tremendous volume of civil society participants in this, in this conference left. Uh, they walked silently, they uh, didn't demonstrate, but the demonstration was powerful as they turned in their badges, deciding they weren't coming back because these talk talks are being thwarted by the unwillingness of the world's biggest polluters to make the commitments they need to make of the countries that came to Copenhagen and said, hey, guess what, developing world, we're not going to reduce our emissions, but we'll give you $100 billion a year every year starting in 2020. Uh, that was a, a pr proposal from Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and the industrialized countries are not beginning to make good on it. The World Climate Fund is empty. So frustration led to a huge walkout involved World Wildlife Fund, Greenpeace, Oxfam, 350.org, uh, a, a number of other groups, and they all walked out together. So I'm sorry I've forgotten the names of the groups I should remember. This is my uh, fourth day on the hunger strike in solidarity with the Philippines negotiator. And I find that I sometimes forget things. But I think that's all I need to tell you about right now. I don't know. I think it's 50-50 between this being the very worst cop ever and by Saturday morning pulling out some kind of progress uh, before this process moves to Peru next year. God only knows we really need to see some progress. Uh, check out the video clips of the press conferences I did today. Talk to you later.